Our bodies are made of trillions of cells. Each type of cell has a different shape, size and job to do within the body. For instance, red blood cells carry oxygen around our bloodstream. Brain cells pass electrical impulses around our brains to help us think. And rod and cone cells detect light and colour in our eyes. Together, these cells and millions like them form organs and do jobs within the body that are essential for life. Many cells have the ability to create copies of themselves and make chemicals the body needs to function. But these amazing abilities are what viruses, like COVID-19, use to infect the body by invading human cells and using them to make copies of themselves. The COVID-19 virus is just one of many types of coronavirus and they get their name from the crown-like spikes around the cell that are made of proteins. Normally, our cells are pretty good at spotting a coronavirus because they can detect the spikes that surround the cell. But the COVID-19 virus tricks our cells into stripping off its spikes, so they no longer see it as a threat. It then gets absorbed into the cell, which is fooled into making lots of copies of it, in order to spread the infection. It's important that we can spot which cells are most vulnerable to COVID-19, and that's where the human cell atlas comes in. The Human Cell Atlas aims to create comprehensive reference maps of all human cells, the fundamental units of life, as a basis for both understanding human health and diagnosing, monitoring and treating disease. By using the Human Cell Atlas, we can see which cells are most likely to be used by the virus. Not all cells have the right parts, called receptors, that allow the COVID-19 virus to bind to the cell, but some do, including cells in the nose, eyes, intestines, throat and lungs, which are all vulnerable to the coronavirus and can be used to copy and spread the virus around the body. These cells have a receptor known as ACE2 that the virus uses to bind to cells. They also have an enzyme called TMPRSS2, which strips the spikes from the virus. The reason COVID-19 spreads so easily and causes breathing problems is because of the location of the cells it infects. Goblet cells in the nose that produce mucus are easily infected if a person breathes in the virus. For instance, if someone infected coughs nearby. The infection then moves into the lungs by infecting ciliated cells that normally move mucus, particles or bacteria out of the lungs. It finally arrives in the air sacs in the lungs, called alveoli, that exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules to and from the bloodstream. When the body fights the virus, it sometimes overreacts and damages these vital cells in an effort to stop the spread of the virus. One hypothesis is that this causes inflammation, making it hard to breathe. In some cases, this requires hospital treatment and can even be fatal. But scientific efforts across the world, including the Human Cell Atlas, are using their combined knowledge to investigate how cells respond to the virus in order to make sure people get better quicker.